Welcome to Two Thumbs Toy Review TV. So we had a little fun this weekend. We wanted to be creative and my daughter wanted a couch for her American Girl doll. And we wanted to build it from wood, but we needed a prototype. And so what we did, so we started with cardboard and this was a complete accident. We started by using cardboard, believe it or not, to make our prototype and then we go back and do the same thing with wood. And it ended up being so sturdy and so cute that we decided to keep it. And we'll make a second one out of wood, but this was all recycled material. We did not buy anything. And so what we did is we started, um, and every bit of this is recycled. We, we started with the size of the bed by simply, I mean, sorry, the size of the couch by taking our American Girl doll and just sitting her down on a piece of cardboard and just finding out what would be a good place for her, you know, distance-wise to sit and have room and of course their legs don't bend. Once we had that, we went ahead and we found out that a hand towel, an old hand towel, we had hand towels and washcloths is what we used. An old hand towel folded to be about that size, um, worked perfect for the bottom part. And then up here you can do the same thing. And um, But anyways, I'm jumping ahead here. So first thing we did is we took four sheets, four sheets of cardboard. We glued them together and that was the base. And then we did the same thing with the back and you can make it any size you want. You can make it for your American Girl doll or your Barbies or whatever. We took it and we did the same thing, four pieces of cardboard, glued together, and then we took the base and the top and glued those in place. And then we took four pieces of cardboard and measured where we wanted our armrest, and we glued that to the back of the couch and the base of the couch. So the, And we did the same thing over here. You can actually kind of see a little hint of cardboard there. So anyways, once we had our cardboard pieces hot glue gun together, this piece to this, this attached to both of these, and same over here, we went ahead and took our, we took our rag washcloths, and we covered them in this old fabric that we had. You could also use old pieces of clothing. Maybe there's a print that you really like of a shirt that maybe you outgrew too small, too big, and cut it up and just use it to cover your washcloth. And no sewing is involved, you just hot glue gun everything. And we did the same thing with our hand towel, and I made the hand towel a little bit bigger so it could fold over the side of the couch here. And then we did the same thing with the back. And you hot glue it all together. And then, what we did back here, you could use poster board, you could use um, a piece of cardboard covered in fabric, or which is what we did, or a piece of cardboard covered in even scrapbook paper. We just wanted to close off the areas where we had hot glue gun down back here. We wanted a neat look, so we attached the fabric to a piece of cardboard that we measured to fit here, and then hot glue gun it all to the back. And then we wanted to reinforce the bottom a little bit. It's not that pretty, but no one's going to see the bottom, and this was a prototype. So we just took some cardboard and attached it to so the bottom. So when it comes to the legs, you can really use your imagination on this one. You, we happened to have these finials that were for the end of curtain rods. We had them left over, we didn't need them, so we used those. You could use, think about it, you could use bouncy balls for your legs. Um, you could use anything square, if you wanted something square, anything that's the same size, and you have four of them. Um, somebody had mentioned, what about acorns? Because sometimes <laughs> acorns are nice and round, sometimes they're not. It, all sorts of different things you could use. Make it a little rustic, use a walnut, I don't know. Pick something up off the ground. Um, find some rocks and make it cute like that. Point is here, use what you have. and. When it comes to us making this in wood, we plan on using old pieces of pallet wood, scrap material, hot glue gun, that's the only thing you might have to buy is the glue, and then of course old rags, if you have any old rags, old t-shirts, anything to make your, your cushiony part. 
So that's what we did there. And what I like about this fabric that we chose, you can kind of make it any color you want. You can see we have a little lavender purple going. We have this little rug. It was a, actually a Swiffer or Shark cleaning pad that we just thought was cute. We hadn't used it, so we turned it into a rug. And it, I mean, it could be a bath mat or anything. And then you could just add whatever color you want. If you want pinks in there, you could add pink. If you want turquoises, you could add turquoise. We've got a little turquoise lamp here. We got this at the dollar store. Um, you could just, you could see how well a solid color, well this has a little bit of design, you can make any color combination you want. So what we decided to do is go with the lavender and we're going to make some little pillows. Again, no sew, just hot glue. And we found this cute little lamp at Five Below. It's actually a locker lamp. And we're going to put that at the top of our dollhouse ceiling and make it our little chandelier. And what we did here is we just went and got a big magnet and glued it to the top of the dollhouse. And then it attaches to the locker lamp. And there you go. We have a little lamp in our room. So that was our fun project this weekend. I really encourage anybody who has an excess amount of cardboard or old clothing that you're going to take to the Goodwill or charity or something, grab a piece out of there that really piques your interest and try this. I mean, we had it done in about an hour. Um, if it's little kids doing it, then of course you don't supervision is needed for the hot glue and the scissors. But And if it's somebody who's really good with wood, working with wood, then go ahead and do this because it's basic cuts. As you can see, we did not make this angled. We made it straight. It's a very simple couch. So have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed our little, I know we do toy reviews, but once in a while we like to do a little do-it-yourself video because it's so much fun and we have a good time doing it and saving so much money. Thanks for watching. Bye.